Hello and welcome to Logos College Online Learning. Uh, today, um, we're going to finish up Unit 11 in your book, all right? And we're on Conversation 2. That's on page 92 in your person to person uh, student book number two. Okay, uh, so last, last video, we talked about uh, things that you'll never forget, all right? I'll never forget the time I uh, went on vacation with my family. All right, so, and we talked about why you don't forget these things. It's because uh, something special happened, or maybe you, you ate something new that you really liked, all right, or maybe you heard uh, some really nice music. Okay. <clears throat> and then we also talked about ways to keep a conversation going. Right? We add follow-up information, we ask for more information, and we show interest, okay? Uh, two things of grammar, past continuous and past perfect, right? And let's talk about part one, telling a story. Right? So when you tell a story, we, we often use past continuous and past perfect because it happened in the past, right? But there's, there's certain things that each, each tense does. Past continuous talks about something that was going on before you were interrupted by something, right? And past perfect, you are describing an event in the past that happened before another event in the past. Let's take a look at this. Um, these pictures in your book right here on page 93. Student or person A says, did I ever tell you about the time I found $150? You can also ask, have I ever told you? That's up to you. doesn't matter. I was taking the train to my judo class when I saw a wallet on the seat next to me. Okay, so I was taking. That's past continuous. And then that was interrupted by an event in the past. He saw a wallet. So look at this first picture. You would say something like this. If someone asked you, or you could say, have I ever told you about the time I went skiing? Like, no, what happened? I was skiing when I fell and broke my leg. Right. So I was skiing, past continuous. And then it got interrupted by what? You fell and broke your leg, past tense. Look at this picture. Did I ever tell you about the time uh, I walked outside of my house last week? And you go, no, what happened? Well, I was getting the newspaper when I realized I had locked myself out. All right. So there's a lot of things there. I was getting the newspaper. That's, that's past continuous. I was getting the newspaper when I realized. All right, so when you realized it, that's past tense. I had locked myself out. That's past perfect. Right. So what happened first? You locked yourself out, and then you realized it. All, right. All this was happening while you were getting the newspaper. Right. So that's, that's how you use all three tenses. All, oh, I'm sorry, all, both tenses when you're telling a story in the past. Right. Let's take a look at this picture right here. Help to hurt child. I was walking, I was walking down the street when I saw a child had fallen off his bicycle. Right. Let's look at that sentence. I was walking down the street when I saw a child had hurt or had fallen off a bicycle. Right. Was walking. Past continuous. And then you saw something. What you saw interrupted your past continuous. 
What did you see? You saw that a child had fallen off a bicycle. So before you saw the child, he already fell off the bicycle. Right? So that happened first. So that's why you have to use past perfect there. I was walking down the street when I saw a child had fallen off his bicycle. I was walking down the street and I helped a hurt child. You could say that too. Here, helped interrupts your action of was walking down the street. Uh, when you met a famous person, uh, I was I was talking to somebody when I realized that I had met a famous person. All right. So again, past perfect are events that happen before another event in the past. All right. So let's talk about an unusual experience you have had. Practice three. Right? The unusual experiences are things that don't happen to you every day. They're different. That's why you remember them. What's the worst thing you did as a child? <laughs> so when I, was, when I was a child, I always wrote on the walls of the house. All right? my, mom, my, <laughs> my mom used to get so mad. And I would take a marker and, pa and paint all over the walls. All right? So I would say the worst thing I ever did as a child was writing on the walls, and my mom would see me, would catch me, and yell at me, and would yell at me. And we could talk about these unusual experiences. What's the bravest thing you ever did? So being brave is to, to show courage, right? To, uh, to do something that you fear. The most embarrassing moment of your life, or the best vacation you ever had. So these are things that, are, that, you, that you remember. These are unusual experiences. Right? Um, part of your homework, I'm going to have you write about an unusual experience. All right, let's go to part two. Responding to someone's story. <clears throat> so when you respond, when you respond to a story, you, are, you can either ask for more information, and you're showing interest. So when you respond to somebody's story, you're showing that you're interested. So when, let's say, I, I turn the wallet into the police, you say expressions like, good for you. That was really honest of you. Did they find the owner? Right. See, so you showed interest, and you responded with emotions. And you responded with emotions and feeling. I lost some money. Oh, no, that's terrible. Was it a lot? Did you find it? Take a look at some of these expressions down here. It says, use these words. Oh, that's too bad. So these expressions, you're showing emotions and feelings. So your voice, your tone of voice, it needs to show, it needs to sound like you're showing emotion and feelings, right? If you say it like this, oh, that's too bad, that's, that's no emotions. So when you say, oh, that's too bad, you, you want to show that you feel sorry. You want to show that, oh, that's too bad. Right? That's terrible. Right? I'm happy to hear that. Right? So you want to show excitement here. Right? You don't want to say, I'm happy to hear that. Oh, yeah, that sounds really happy. I'm happy to hear that. Right? Great. That's unbelievable. Incredible. Amazing. I can't believe it. So these, these are expressions that when you respond to uh, somebody's story, you can use. Okay? Uh, these expressions here, they, they show that you are interested and that you are listening to the speaker. All right, uh, this says, listen to example. I'm sorry. Tell your partner about an experience you will never forget, the time you lost something valuable. Time when you helped someone, time when someone helped you, okay? How about this? Let's say you found this on the ground. 
all right? I was walking, I was walking uh, to work or I was walking to school when I found a wallet on the ground. Okay, so what would you do? All right, are you going to return the money? You're going to keep the money and then return the wallet? Don't return anything? Return all of it, be an honest person? <laughs> um, if, if, let's say, you return the money, it, you should return everything, okay? So the, the correct thing to do, the honest thing to do is return all the, wa the wallet and the money. Try to find someone that, that uh, owns that, okay? Um, but let's say uh, you find this, you, you say, I, I was walking down the street when I found a wallet full of money. And then you're, how would you respond? You would say, that's unbelievable. What did you do? <laughs> um, and then the other person can continue the conversation by adding follow-up information. Well, I, I had realized that the person in front of me had dropped his wallet. So I quickly, quickly ran up to him and gave him and asked him, is this his wallet? And then he said, yes. All right. And then you wouldn't believe what happened next. He was so nice. He was so thankful that he, he, get, turn, he gave me the money to say thank you for being so honest. Okay. All right. Um, so part of your homework is this right here. I need you to think of an unusual event or story that happened to you and write down some notes about it. What happened? Where did it happen? When did it happen? What were you doing? What did you do next? And how did you feel? Um, it doesn't have to be long at all. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven or eight sentences. Okay? And I need you to use I need you to use past continuous. Okay? Past continuous. Remember, it describes parallel actions, express uninterrupted, express interrupted actions in the past, and try to use past perfect. And let me see. All right, um, let's listen to this together, okay? So I'm going to send this home as homework. Just short, write a short paragraph. You can use Google Docs or PDF, whatever you need to do. Uh, or you can write on paper and take a picture and send it to me. Before I let you go, before I end this video, I want to do this listening with you, okay? This is about a two-minute two minute listening exercise. All right, let's listen. Track this, track 54. All right, it says Lisa's story, all right? So there's three pictures here. Let's listen to Lisa and think of a good title for her story. And then how does she feel each stage of the story? Remember, how did you feel? So feelings end in ED, right? And when you describe things, it ends in ING. But most feelings, how do you feel? Your emotions end in ED. All right, let's listen to this story. Oops, sorry. Been a long day. Here we go. Listen to this. Part 1. Listen to Lisa's story. Think of a good title for the story and write it below. The most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me was a couple of years ago when I had just passed my driving test. I was driving through the city, very pleased and happy that I was driving on my own at last. There was quite a lot of traffic, but it wasn't too bad. In fact, the cars were moving very slowly, which was fine for me. Then, suddenly, the engine cut out. The car stopped? Yes. Well, I tried to start it up again, but I must have flooded the engine or something. Okay, let's stop right there. All right, so picture one, how does she feel? 
she said she was very, she was driving by herself for the first time. She was very pleased, so she was satisfied, and she felt happy. Okay, let's continue. So then what happens is her car just stops, all right? Let's see what, what happened. Because it just wouldn't start. Oh, no. What did you do then? I just didn't know what to do. I started to panic. I was in the middle of this really busy street. Four lanes of traffic all around me, cars starting to line up behind me. I couldn't leave the car to go and get help. I just sat there, terrified. That sounds awful. How embarrassing. And then what happened? I suppose I would... All right. So she says she just sat there and she felt terrified. All right. So to feel terrified is to feel really scared. Very scared. Let's continue. What happened next? I was sitting there for at least 10 minutes, but it seemed like an hour. And then a man came up out of the subway, saw what was happening, and came over to the car. And together we pushed the car over to the sidewalk, out of the way of the traffic. I was so relieved. I mean, he knew immediately what to do, and it was so simple, really. Wow. What did you say to him? Well, that was the funny thing. He couldn't speak any English, so I couldn't tell him how grateful I was. He just smiled and went away. And you never saw him again? No, I never saw him again. All right. So a stranger comes and helps her, pushes the car, so she felt relieved. And her voice, she sounded very thankful. OK, so a good title for this, good title for Lisa's story could be Lisa's unforgettable first driving experience there you go all right so in your story when you tell your story all right i need a title like this lisa's unforgettable first driving experience all right it could be your first unforgettable eating experience or trying i don't know pizza seafood <clears throat> um, and it needs to be at least six, seven, or eight sentences, okay? And please use past continuous and past perfect. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. That's it for unit 11. Uh, please, please, please continue to do your homework, okay? Um, I think I had a, a reported grades for the first two weeks and we're almost at the we're at the midway point now okay so continue this online learning uh thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye